It's the biggest time of the year for college basketball, the NCAA tournament. And it kicked off today. You can feel the March Madness fever across the valley. 27 First News reporter Josh Rakenick talked with people in Boardman about the big dance. Even the babies were wearing the scarlet and gray Thursday as Ohio State and Dayton kicked off what has become one of the biggest sporting events of the year, the NCAA tournament. It's great. It's what Ohio State fans lived for, whether it's basketball, football, or any other athletic event. It's two of the most exciting days of the whole year for sports. So. And there's always three or four games going on at one time. There's always exciting finishes, so it's really fun to be a sports fan. Essen Wine says that the first round of the big dance is a busy time for the restaurant. With Super Bowl, for our business, it's a lot more about takeout and house parties and people getting together at home and a whole day build up. What's great about this is it's early in the day, it's during the week, much more in-store, much more you want to sit around where you can watch multiple TVs. Part of the fun is filling out a bracket. There's never been a perfect one filled out, which is one of the reasons why people like Warren Buffett and Cavs owner Dan Gilbert offer up big bucks for perfection. Even if the odds aren't in your favor, it doesn't stop people like Rocco Colavecchia. I'm winning the billion dollars. You're winning the billion dollars. Absolutely. You know how tough that is, right? Yeah, it's like one in like nine trillion, but that's this guy right here. So who do you pick and how do you do it? Do you pick the top seeds with the best record? The crew at Buffalo Wild Wings had their own philosophy. A lot of our team members that did our team bracket challenge do look at the colors of the uniforms though, so and the nicknames. Believe it or not, that's not the worst way to go. Nine out of the last ten national champions have had blue in their jerseys. As for the Buckeyes, they fell to Dayton in the first round. In Boardman, Josh Verkettick, WKBN 27 First News.